Can you tell me that again? Maybe mine started growing. Mm hmm Because you put mine on first and it got the sun. First. Maybe got more sun. So here we are with our lima beans have been in the window for five days. And here's what Connors look like. And that's what Liam's look like. Liam's got all kinds of little roots coming off of it, of them. They're even going through the paper towel. So right now we are drawing in our journal and money. what they look like. And then we're going to put them back on the window and put a little bit more water in there. Oh I, love, oh, I love it. Got your little roots coming out. That's perfect. Good job, bud. And Liam's doing the same thing. Roots. Yeah, yeah. lots of roots. But it, Good job. I made the roots fall into my last one. Mm. So Connor is currently drawing our wildflower. I am calling Grady this bird. What is that bird? A pied avisa, I think is what we called it. A pied avisa. So we're learning about shorebirds. Shorebirds. And this, and we are supposed to do an orange. Those are paddles for them to swim in the water. That's right. We're supposed to do an orange wildflower this time, but we found more purple ones than we did orange. Mm -hmm. Our friend did find us one that's orange, but it was kind of hard to draw, so we decided to get some purple ones, and we're gonna do an orange wildflower next and time. Yeah, so we did our purple wildflower. Do you remember what that purple, purple wildflower is called again? A night. It was a nightshade of some sort. Night leaf. Silver leaf? Is that what it's called? Silver leaf nightshade. Something like that. We'll, we'll have to look it up Silver again. Silver leaf nightshade. It's on mommy's app. Silver All right. leaf nightshade. Okay. Where are we going? To, to producers! Yeah, we're gonna go take some pictures. I'm yellow. This is yellow. This message with color. Okay, thank you, Pikachu. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go take some kindergarten pictures. It might be too late in the morning, but this we're gonna try daddy. and see how it goes. This is my daddy. He collects down to the and he collects little. officially finished with week four of kindergarten and uh, yeah <laughs> I'm so glad and at the same time it's kind of bittersweet um, if you're new welcome uh, thank you for taking the time to check out our vlog hopefully it was a blessing to you um, at the time I'm filming this outro I literally don't know what I even have in here so Blessings to you for watching it. Um, I've been struggling with remembering to take videos of our time. So, hopefully there was something good for you today. Um, okay, so I'm sorry I'm pulling out my lesson plan paper so I can remember about this week. Um, like I was saying, yeah, we are um, finishing up our first term. Um, and then we will go on, a, we'll have a week off. Um, which is something that I started doing last year after the encouragement of a college friend. They go, they do the same thing and I think a different, a little different timetable than how we do it. We do five weeks of break, four weeks of break, 
five, break four, break all the way until we get have eight terms to finish in May. Um, but uh, a friend from college, she they do on their breaks, they take their um, RV and they go and they explore and stuff. So one day, hopefully that will be in the cards for us too. But for now, it is kind of just strategically placed like on holidays or birthdays stuff like that so um but it's always welcome when it comes um let's see week four for us let's see what all did we do I'm trying to think of like like the highs and the lows um one thing new that we added this week is um in the boys were family books which they finished their second one um, I added a component right here. So um, this page is a simple like reading passage, and then there's two comprehension questions. Um, back when I taught in the classroom, one of the things that we used to do to for, to help with like prosody and reading is we would do a cold read, which is essentially. Um, their very first time with the passage and it's them reading it and if they come across a word that they have trouble with you give them a few moments to go ahead and try it themselves and if they still struggle you go ahead and just let them know what the word is to allow for the frustration to not get too intense and then if they um, misspeak a word then you can go ahead and correct that as well but it's meant to just be like the very first time they ever read the text and that's when you time it and so like this is uh, for Liam um, and then then I helped him read the questions and he answered the questions and then um, the next day we read it together like uh, try and remember how to do it so we did like a call and response so, like I would read excuse me I would read a sentence and then they would re would repeat and then while um, they one of them was doing an activity in here I would pull one and then they would read it to me again um, and then my intention was to do that two times that's why there's two lines here for in the hot read um, but for now we're just gonna do the one additional reading so this will kind of be their hot read and they'll just do the same thing they'll read it to me again same thing if they struggle with the word I'll give them a moment or two and then I'll tell them the word if they misspeak I misread a word I will go ahead and fix that as well or correct that as well and then you just do the same thing you time them and as you can see like from this one his time basically was cut in half which is what we want to see we want to see progress not that you want to see it necessarily cut in half but just that you do want to see progress it's like here was here's Connors so definitely both both showed great progress um, and it's something that me personally, I think I'm going to continue to do uh, for now. So we'll just see. Because they're both reading really great. They're they're not even six yet. And so the fact that they're reading is just wonderful. And it's not necessarily something that they sh quote unquote should or have to be doing in our opinion. But um, I'm glad to see them that trying and that they're enjoying it type of thing. Um, so this week, um, i trying to think. Oh. So a couple favorite things. Um, we really enjoyed the lima beans that we planted uh, last week. And so this week, seeing them continue to grow has been really cool. And actually right now, they're still up in the windowsill. Um, and they their leaves have broken from the seed. And they're starting to open up. So uh, today we're going to take them out uh, and sketch them in our journal and actually try to plant them into like a pot or something um I have a black thumb so hopefully it works out um let's see uh we've had really good chats with our ology book which I have enjoyed the simplicity of that book and the truths that it just so concisely shares um has been really great we've had great conversations with the ology so that's definitely one of my favorites for this week too um, oh, another favorite that actually didn't happen with me, but happened uh, with family 
my mother-in-law shared this with us, but last they the boys ended up staying with her last minute this weekend um, overnight, and uh, they were given like a fruit snack or something. They're for just fruit snacks, and Connor was telling his nana all about how we've been studying the fruits of the spirit and just all this different stuff, and that really made me feel good that he felt. Uh, that he was able to share that with her and just that um, sometimes with those lessons they I feel like they've got to go over their heads or that we just I don't know it just doesn't seem very fruitful um, but to hear that he's sharing that with others is really cool um, and then for like what we needed for this week maybe to work on or something that just didn't go great um, well so two things flexibility because we were supposed to find an orange wildflower for our science the last two weeks and we, we couldn't find one we went on a walk with friends and one of our friends she found us one which was amazing but it was so small and we had a hard time even identifying it and then I finally did identify it but what we, what we were seeing in real life were tons of these purple flowers and um, so I let the boys decide if they wanted to go ahead and draw the orange one um, and I'd help them find pictures to kind of use as their mentor uh, drawing type of thing. And, um, or to go ahead and use the purple one since they were so, you know, they're everywhere right now. And uh, they decided to do the purple one. And it was, it was good because I'm really bad about just kind of being in the moment. And so, um, yeah, it was really good just to, I think, for us to go ahead and do that instead of the orange. And that might seem super simple to you, but it's very hard for me. <laughs> and then um, our book was when uh, the rain came down by David Shannon and we started the week off with the the Sunday Sunday here it rained and the boys had to play in the rain it was awesome and we had a forecast for rain so I was like this is like so serendipitous what a blessing that you know it all is kind of working out for it to rain this week and uh, we had planned to do a rain art activity at a few uh, for this like saved my Pinterest board which I will link below um, and uh, but with the idea of it raining, I really wanted to use one that you use the rain as part of the process of whatever art it is you're doing. And so like, I kept waiting to do it because uh, it was scheduled for Thursday. But then I was like, okay, well, it's supposed to rain Friday. And like, and, and newsflash, it never, it never rained. <laughs> so um, then we didn't need to do that. And so I went, I'm going into week five with that not having been done. So I'm not too worried about it. Um, what we're going to do once the boys wake up and we get through our morning um like the really quick morning basket type stuff um we will go ahead and start the day with uh, a rain art and then also sketch our water cycles in our journal um and then we'll just start with our last day with Shannon book which is duck on a bike so um so yeah that's what I got. Uh, I'm sure there's something else I want to share with you, but hopefully these vlogs have been, like I said, an encouragement and a blessing to you guys and um, kind of will reveal what happens in, you know, teaching your kids from home. Um, if you have any questions or comments, let me know and uh, I will see you on the next one. Be blessed.